This is the camera that I use when I have to film in my workshop or outside in the field where I can't use my, my webcam. Once uh, I was working in the field outside, I had the camera on a stool and then suddenly a, a gush of wind came and threw the camera over, hit itself on the cement and it suffered a, a few problems. One of the problems is that the battery chamber, the, the cover of the battery chamber lost a part and it won't close properly. It stays a bit open and suddenly it, it opens completely and the batteries come out and I lose the shot. I can fix that. I can stop that happening by putting this, this thing here well bolted on and then it won't open up. This grey surface you can see there is a lens cover. It acts like a curtain. It opens and closes to protect the lens. Now, due to this accident, this lens curtain doesn't open completely. When you activate the camera, you press the button, the lens should rise and at the same time open the curtain completely so you can start filming. But now, due to this accident, the lens cover opens just halfway and then when it closes, it closes halfway only and that's a problem, as you can see in this clip. This is a serious problem because I can't film with a camera like that. Uh, and I thought that maybe I would have to disassemble the, the camera, the whole camera, to be able to get to the that part to clean it, or I would have to throw this camera away, but it's too old to, to pay for repair. But now I know it's not necessary to disassemble this camera to be able to get to the lens. I started looking for information in the internet, any website and videos and so on, how to get into the, the lens there and fix the problem. And I found a, a link that I, I'm going to leave it below in the description. It's a blog where a small tutorial about how to get into the lens and includes some suggestions and comments on how to fix this problem. One option suggested in this blog from comments of the people is to use compressed air to dislodge any dust or dirt that might be inside the moving parts of the lens. However, I believe using compressed air is not a good idea because instead of getting the dust out, it'll push it further in. Another option suggested in this blog is to use a very thin bit of paper or plastic to push it in between the lens parts and with that uh, you might dislodge the, the, the dust. But the truth is that uh, tends to move the dust around instead of pulling it out. Uh, a very good suggestion offered here was to use a vacuum cleaner. The, the tube of the vacuum cleaner, put it against the lens and suck out all the dust or dirt that might be lodged in there. And uh, other people there said that they had tried it and it was very successful. So maybe it's a very good idea. As I don't have a vacuum cleaner at this moment to do that option, I will have to follow the option suggested by the person that wrote the blog. That is, to disassemble the mechanism that makes the curtain open and close and uh, clean the different parts with alcohol to take out any dust that might be obstructing the, the movements. The first thing we have to do is uh, first pop out the lens. And once the lens is out, we remove the batteries leaving the lens in that position. What we have to do here is remove this ring that is stuck to the barrel of the lens uh, with uh, some sort of glue. To do that, we have to soak the ring, the border of the ring where it connects with the barrel, with alcohol, with quite enough alcohol so it gets inside and softens the glue. As you can see in this clip, first of all, a bit of alcohol and we put it we try and press a bit of alcohol into the the side of the ring where it goes into the barrel and we try and get a bit of alcohol there to go inside this of course we have to do it First of all, we, with the batteries inside, we make the lens come out and then we take the batteries out. Now it has no batteries in there and the lens is stuck open. And we have a 
is a way to file for the alcohol to act there. Then, very carefully, you try to pry it open, putting this, the point of the blade between the ring and the barrel, carefully pressing in very softly, try and pick it out. Yeah. some point it should get dislodged and we should be able to get into the the mechanisms that hold the, the lens protector there it seems we already got in there and we can get it out. Still a bit stuck here. There we are. There we are. What do we have it here? Okay, that's the the material that has it stuck to the to the lens. It's like scotch tape or a very thin layer of glue. This is what holds the ring stuck to the barrel. It looks like scotch tape, but it can just be a thin layer of glue. Let's leave it here. The lens curtain here is held over the lens with screws. And this looks very different to the other cameras I saw in the tutorial. So, Maybe if I take out these screws, it has wire springs there that will just fly out. And uh, so we must be quite careful when taking these screws off.
Okay. Then we're going to fold it open. So we place it. That little hole there should fit in with that little thing being sticked up there. Hmm? And it should stay open. Hmm? That's fit perfectly. It's open. So we place the screw in place. And then we put the closes. That's open. Closes. Open. Closes. And open. Ready. Now all we have to do is stick the ring on in place so it doesn't fall off. First of all, we take out the batteries. And I'm going to put a little bit of this glue, water-based glue, on there and a little bit on there. And I hope that is just enough to hold the ring. Okay. We we'll leave it to dry out a bit, about an hour, and then we we'll test it again. Okay, the the glue must be dry now and well stuck on, and uh, apparently the problem was fixed just by using a bit of alcohol, embedding it there into the the moving parts. <laughs>